How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. I just can't put this game down. I just keep playing it. I mean, I've been sitting here playing it for like two hours. I can't stop. I haven't even looked at the administration yet. Oh, you know what? It's the exact same. This is the same. It's the same as the mess hall. <laughs> Alright, what about this watchtower? You climb up the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view from up here. Use the binoculars! Holy shit, use the binoculars! Yes! You discovered a new map location. The Coal Ridge Mine. You climb down the watchtower and pitch the binoculars in a nearby trash. Because you can only use them the once, apparently. Keep Fort Cowardice beautiful. That's awesome. Fuck yes. I knew those binoculars would come in handy eventually. E everyone kind of knew that. I just wasn't sure when I was going to find a nice high vantage point and I was worried that I was going to like forget about the binoculars. Yes. Yes, I'm so excited about that. But I have a couple things back at Dirtwater I got to like wrap up now at this point. You know what? I love wandering. Wandering has had great results for me overall. Uh, you know what? Wait, a new location snake pit mine? It looked like I just ended up at exactly Button Willow's store. Continue to continue to my destination. That's oh, okay, it's a new mine new mine over there. It kinda looked like he went to the store and then it said he found a new thing, so that was a little bit that was a little bit confusing. A few hundred yards up the trail you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the north east east it hasn't noticed you. Well, you know what? I'm just so damn good these days. 75 to 78 damage because now I ate that lead pie. This is just absolutely absurd. I'm gonna fight everything from now on. It was just like, what, two episodes ago that I said I was gonna I was gonna ease up on that a little bit and maybe, maybe not fight everything I come across because of hard mode? No. I have officially conquered hard mode. I will fight anything and everything at this point. Alright, I got a few things to scratch off the list, right? So first off, uh, no, not the poker room. First off, I got to give the saltpeter to this guy. Hey, you got that saltpeter yet? Got it right here. More XP. Always leveling up. Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper. I really thought I was going to be done with you. Because it's really spicy? Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They grow in the area outside of town. You should be able to find one when you just wander around a while. Ah, cool. My, my guess is that I wouldn't have been able to found, find one without initiating that, you know? Like, that random waters wouldn't find a murder pepper without, without actually having initiated that quest. Uh, I need to stop by the jail, because uh, I've crossed off another thing. What can I do for you? I just want to say hi. No, that's not true. Oh wait, okay, the Fort Cowardice thing must have been a bar quest? I really, I don't remember how I discovered Fort Cowardice now. I don't remember what I was supposed to do with that. Holy shit, what? Bar of soap? Oh, but I, I needed the soap back in, uh, the like prologue area. Boring Springs. I can't even do anything with it now anymore, can I? Dr. Schweckleton's Pure Cast Isle Soap. Where this comes from, they call it soap. I guess I'll buy it in case it comes up again at some point, but no, I think I kind of missed my opportunity to use soap. Way to rub it in. Is the letter in for me yet? Hey! Yeah, actually, yes, there is. Package came for you. Here you are. Package from Rufus. It's a package from your younger brother, Rufus. He's weird but he has a sweet heart. Let's see what he might have sent us. Dear bro, I found this and thought it might help you not die. It's fucking A. Whoa, whoa, what just happened here? Did I just get a sepia tone thing for some reason? Jeez, you really miss that kid. You miss your parents. You get all nostalgic just thinking about it. Nostalgia mode unlocked in the options menu. You're just playing like a weird sepia tone from now on? That's really funny and absolutely ridiculous and unnecessary. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn that off though. <laughs> Look at some of these other things. Colorblind mode, you never know. Best font mode, it just changes everything to Arial. That's pretty hilarious. Oh, whoa, I can turn off the automatically spend XP at any time? Nostalgia mode, funny, not actually going to stick with it. New snake oiling skill though. There's a foldout chart listing the hottest new poisons. The expert poisoner, that was one that I almost picked. The bad medicine, which I, I skipped before. And recipe for quick brew potion that fortifies your body, mind, and spirit gives strong medicine, a combat skill that temporarily increases muscle, mysticality, and moxie. Uh, expert poisoner I'm going to go with. I don't really care about bad medicine that much, and strong medicine, eh, I'm not about the temporary things. I want the, I want the bonuses that stick around. 
You're much better at poisoning things than you are at not poisoning them. Unfortunately, you get so distracted thinking about new kinds of poison that you misplace the magazine. Rats. All right, I gotta pick out pick out the next thing that we're gonna do. I think I think I want to go to the Coal Ridge Mine because I'm just so excited about what the binoculars might have found for me. I'll, I'm gonna go for a quick wander first. You catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. Did I find the pepper already? You trace it to its source, a vividly covered red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. This must be the southeast western murder pepper that feller at the jewel was looking for. Grab it! I thought I was gonna have to fight and kill this thing. Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it in your rucksack before it can do any more damage. Incredibly spicy pepper grown only in the narrow region of the west. Hot! I think I'm going to go for one more quick wander. I didn't expect to find that so quickly. Your key and I detect a secluded cave in the near distance. Exploring it would definitely be a good use of your time. The Shaggy Dog Cave. I'm not going to I'm not going to bother with that right now. I feel like I'm kind of focused. I, I I got a I got a mission in mind. I might as well I might as well go bring that guy his his pepper and then I'll go deal with the thing that I found through the binoculars. So we, where where are you, buddy? Here, here you are. Yeah, here it is. Ah, nice. It's a big one. That'll last a while. Good going. Okay, so if you, you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go check my mail. I ordered a new saute knife, but I haven't got time to go fetch it. Here's the key to my post office box. Really? You're just gonna go make me fetch your mail? I feel like there could be better uses of my time. A man of my talents. A, a man who can do as much damage as I can do. But sure, whatever. I'll open it up. You open the box, and a torrent of junk mail falls out to reveal a knife just sitting loose in the box. You pick it up. Even though you're holding it, you're still pretty sure there's no such thing as a saute knife. I don't know my knives well enough. I know chef knife, and that might be the only one I know. Anyway, it's too thin to use as a weapon, so it's not even worth stealing. That's a shame, because I was absolutely probably going to steal it. If, if it didn't say that... This guy wasn't, he wasn't getting that knife back. I was going to pocket that and just keep it forever. Uh, so there, there you go. Here, have your knife. More, more experience, more dead eye, more damage. Fucking A. Okay, I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most important. I need to have this recipe for a very secret jerk sauce. My favorite jerk friend, Dave J, stole it from me, and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. You want me to dig up his grave? He's dead, he won't mind. Dave J it is. Luckily, we've already discovered the Dave Yard. Which is just the most fucking absurd thing still. But that's super awesome, because it makes uh, completing this chain of, of quests with the kitchen here super easy, so I might as well just deal with it. You espy an empty whiskey bottle sitting atop a fence post about 60 paces away. I'm a talented ass shot, I try to shoot it. With a single crack shot, you shoot and, and crack the single bottle. Nice shooting. Working, working towards leveling up that moxie. Dave J, Dave J, Dave J. There it is. Dig him, dig that boy up. You dig up the grave and pry open the coffin. Instead of a corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Reach inside. You reach into the garbage bag and you're surprised to find that it's full of pudding. No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? Keep digging. You finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sudden lump from the bottom. I guess I'm very used to sifting through things that are disgusting and uncomfortable to sift through. You unglob the wad and dry it off, then wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This better be worth it. Dave's Secret Sauce Recipe. Just combine these ingredients in a small pot, stir an abracadabra, rap a pa pa pow and take this back to Chef Jewel. Why in God's name, let's go old dumbass, why in God's name was that thing full of pudding and all that though? I couldn't tell ya. It does not seem to be a real, a real purpose for that. Like, if you want people to think that maybe you're dead, I don't know why pudding in motor oil would be your first choice. Got that recipe yet? That one my jerk friend Dave J took to his grave? Yeah, I got it. Am I gonna tell him about the weird pudding thing? Thanks a million, buddy. Now my slop will be world famous. Oh, I'm so close to leveling up. Here, let me give you a little something for all your trouble. It fell in the slop, but it's still good. The sloppy top hat. Oh man, that actually is a lot better than I expected it to be, but that's a damn shame that I can't actually do anything with it. I ain't got nothing else for you. If you want some of my world famous slop, you can buy some like anybody else at the saloon. Why wouldn't you just, why wouldn't you give it to me? Let's, let's buy some.
Let me just sell a few things, including that slop, so you can buy the world famous slop instead. All right, let's let's see if we can get the world famous slop instead now. Did I just get it? You just get a regular old plate of slop again? Still, apparently his slop just isn't that good. Doesn't matter if he has a super magical recipe or not. It still is just a shitty plate of slop. All right, we get to go explore the Coal Ridge Mine. The binoculars. The binoculars found for us. You find a safe on the side of a trail. I don't have safe Kraken. Ah, ironic. You think to yourself, it's such an unsafe location. You hop down from old dumbass to find that the safe is locked in addition to being closed, which you could tell that it was from horseback. Damn it all. I also just realized I used up all my all my dynamite. I gotta keep that in mind that I gotta be buying more dynamite if I ever come across it. What do you say, partner? Have fun with your rocks, Hoss. I'll watch the horses. Do you have your own horse? Never seen him. Some of the rocks might be valuable. Well, if you bring him here and they're on the level, I'll help you carry him back to town. Well, thank you. Let me poke around all these many, many rocks that are all over the place here. Oh, whoops. Into the mine I go, I suppose. Maybe I'll find something of value down, down in here. Must sort through all rocks. Got some lockers. There's a row of lockers here. Must have been used for storing the personal effects of the feller who used to work this mine. This first one is labeled Ellsbury WM and doesn't have a lock on it. Old Ellsbury? This is old Ellsbury's locker from back at the, the Jewel Saloon there? The guy who hangs out next to the piano and looks like an ice cream cone? The label on the second one's covered in some kind of white goo, and the third one is labeled Loose, Ben, ben Loose, I suppose it would be, and has a combination lock on it. I don't have any safe cracker in abilities. White goo. Is he perhaps some kind of ghost? I, I keep anticipating I'm gonna run into a ghost because of that ghostly cell. Open the first locker then. The locker contains one of the mining helmets with a lamp on it and a bottle of laudanum. I can't really do anything with this. According to the tag inside, the hat used to belong to someone named William Ellsbury. Maybe I can just bring it back to him then, seeing as I can't really, can't really use it myself with the hard hat. We'll open Ben's combination lock. Oh right, that's the combo one. Darn it. Well, we'll open the goopy one then. You open the door to reveal a skeleton covered in the same white goo that was on the inside of the locker. Ah, you get it. This guy must have died after his co-workers played a prank on him where they stuffed him into his locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I can't believe those dang jerks stuffed me into my locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that, yells the skeleton, confirming both your insight and his vengeful murderous intent. Is Susie going to join me if I fight this guy? Good. She was hanging outside, so I wasn't sure. Shaving cream covered skeleton... Fucker, he's got a lot of health. Uh, I gotta stop jumping all over these opportunities as, as like, as instantly as I do. I'm, I'm, ga I'm getting a little overconfident here, and I really, really don't want to die because I have so many good bonuses right now. Like, that lead pie is unreal. I would be devastated if I lost the, the bonus from the lead pie. Ten pistol damage is so good, especially when I do that three, three attack thing. Oh shit, and he uses melee attacks. Oh god damn, I did not realize my regular shots would do so much damage. That is that is a relief. Susie, you do your thing. That one damage isn't great, but hell, it it, it could make a world of difference here. Okay, I think as long as no one fucking misses their shot, we'll be able to get out of this one still. Whew, cutting it close. Here we go, another victory. M level up Moxie, I'll just do more damage. Even better. Well, at least he's not suffering anymore, and his bones are really clean. Can I can I look around in there? That was it? That was all there was to get from there? Well, leave them alone. I don't have the combo. I can't look at the other one. Abandoned cart. 61 meat. Awesome. Why don't I pick up all this around here? An exposed meat vein. I kind of thought that's probably what that would have been. I'm not sure if that joke came up once before. It seems like maybe it might have. Whoa! This just opens into a 30-foot shaft. You're going to need a rope or something. Shit, I had that lasso but I used it. I don't know if I could have used the lasso for that. Nuts, I was expecting to have more to do around here. I think I want to run back to town and see if maybe I can get a word with uh, Ellsbury now. Ellsbury, what do you say, buddy? Show him the helmet. His eyes light up. Well, one of them does. The other one's kind of stuck in a perpetual squint. Does this belong to you? He takes the helmet from you. It takes a moment for him to find his voice. It does. Long time ago, I... I don't suppose there was anything else where you found that? You mean this? Yeah, that's the stuff. Could, could, could I? I'll give it to him. He cracks the bottle open and drinks deeply. After a few moments, his demeanor changes entirely. He looks like a man 20 years younger. Would you like to hear a story? 
Well, sure, buddy. Ellsbury tells you the tale of an insomniac who takes a zeppelin to a forgotten desert inhabited by barbaric insects. Something about this story, you have really lost yourself in it. I don't know if it means that you were so engrossed by this enthralling story, or if you just lost the thread of the story, because it sounds like the most confusing goddamn thing of all time. But hey, I'll take a bonus to the muscle, sure why not? He nods. If you ever want to express your gratitude in a more tangible way, you know the trick. Does he, does he just mean give him more liquor? Got any medicine for me? Oh, okay, I guess, I guess he wants that one specific kind of liquor. We got this snake pit mine. I'm a snake oiler. I bet you I can find, like, a snake oiler guide thing somewhere there. That's my suspicion at the very least. Meat vein right on the ground there. You look at the mining equipment, you have no idea what any of it does. Ask Suni to, Susie to explain it. N no. <laughs> well, okay then. Ask Susie to explain it. No. Susie? No. Well, I guess she doesn't know dick from squat, just like myself. Oh, a coffee cactus? I've only found the barrel ones before. The cocky coffee cactus is brand new to me. Pile of loose boards. Ooh, you see a snake coiled up in the little hole. Pull it out and punch it. Yeah, I'll fight her. I'll fight this little fucker. We got the jump on you this time. I gotta keep- I gotta make sure I keep my speed as jacked up as possible, because if anything ever gets the jump on me, I, I could really get super, super destroyed from that. Forty meat? You extract some of the snake's most valuable organs. Jesus. They call this the liver because the snake needs it in order to live. 15 HP, and you collect two venom from the snake's fang holes. You skin it with your trusty knife. Oh yeah, good thing I got that skinning knife. The coal snake skin. This is a coal snake skin that has been liberated from a coal snake's body. Put it on your hat to add three moxie. Holy shit. Can I actually, can I add that to the hard hat? Apply to your hat for a permanent moxie boost. I can actually, I can modify the hard hat, that's fucking awesome. You put the coal snake skin on your hat, making it slightly blacker than it was before, at least in the area right above the brim. Fucking A, I didn't think I would be able to upgrade items like that. Oh man, things are going so, so well for me. More meat, uh, there's like a smoking snake in here, a smoking snake in the smoking hole. Fire breathing coal snake. Well, I'd rather not live to see that. I mean, I'd rather he not live to see to demonstrate that. I want to live. I definitely want to live. Snake liver, more, more of this. I can't, I can't, I can't add that a second time, right? It's already been added. Your hat's already got a hat band on it. You don't want to be the person who shows up to a party wearing multiple hat bands, do you? I suppose not. I guess you talked me out of it. Mining supplies, can of kerosene. It's surprising how many obstacles can be overcome simply by covering them with gas and setting them on fire. Useful in combat. Weakens foes and makes them flammable. You can't actually burn them with it. Can of oil. I ended up buying that. Turns out you can just find it. Den is full of snake eggs. Pickaxe. Yes. Pick it up. You can, you can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you shouldn't use this to do either of those things. Provides the option to mine in certain places, probably in meat veins. Really glad I didn't spend a grand on that. Mine it! Yes, unrefined meat nugget and 42 meat. I think you just sell those, right? Just sell it. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad it tells you when there's things to just sell. I should have, I should have realized when I was finding these meat veins that I would eventually be finding a pickaxe to help me mine them. Ah, uh, it makes me almost want to go back to every, like, mine I've ever been in to look around, because what if one of the things I mine offers up something other than meat? I won't go out of my way for that. It might, maybe, maybe I'll come up to it eventually. We gotta jump on them this time. Ah, uh, damn, I wish I had the shoot nanny, because then I could just take out a whole bunch of these things at once. I'm gonna main, I'm gonna hang on to my action points, because probably these things are gonna start hatching. And once that happens, yeah, then then they're probably going to have actual amounts of health. Baby coal snake. Ooh, this thing's a little bit uh, tougher than I would have expected, honestly. Hmm. I'll save it again because they might they might level up like one more time before before this fight's over. So let's see if I can just blast one damage, Susie. Come on, come on with that. You can you might as well just construct the thing then if they you're only, if you're only going to do one damage. I'm gonna save the action points in case these things grow up. Fucking goddamn 
manual attacks, melee attacks is the word I want. Melee. Uh, well, let's just shoot shoot these guys up. Ooh, unless I summon a snake to fight to fight with me. No, but then I won't be able to shoot. I won't be able to do this. So let's just blast one of these guys away. Do double double his health worth of damage, basically. And then we'll we'll chip away at these other other little biddies. Is there any way that I can, I don't know, like throw up food that I've eaten to make room for other food? Because maybe I decide that I don't want the S-car go anymore, but I do want the the lead pie. I don't know if there's any real option for that. But I I think I kinda want both, because it adds to Moxie and and just general pistol damage, and that's the reason I'm doing such an insane amount of damage, so might as well keep it. Speaking of extra moxie, you grab the rest of the eggs from the den and shove them into your briefcase. Soon they'll hatch and feel right at home. Oh, okay, so that's how I replenish the stuff in my snake briefcase. There's not enough skin on any of them to be worth collecting. Yeah, I probably don't want to be skinning little baby snakes. It's kind of disgusting. Don't... No thank you. Uh, there was another meat vein out here, though, that I might as well hit up on my way out of town. I wonder if one of the other... Followers like uh, old Pete, maybe he would know how this works, and then that, and then that would be a whole thing, you know. Oh, do you know what? I want to go. I want to go to the Button Willow store and buy the thing that lets me get better deals on buying things. It was super, super expensive, but long term should pay off, right? Oh man, could I potentially scope out another thing? I thought it would be a one-time use for the sake of finding one particular location. We'll get Mind Your Meat. And I, it looks like I probably gotta read it first. Gives you the Dickerin skill. You drive a hard bargain, and you never let anybody sell you the long end of a stick. 10% discount. After you're done reading it, you use your newfound skills to pawn it off in a wide-eyed room for 60 meat. Done and done. For a 10% discount, I have to sell, what, I buy 15 grand worth of things to eventually get my money's worth there? Hopefully that pays off. Maybe maybe Dickerin will come in handy somewhere else somewhere else down the line. Oh, it looks like I can level it up too. Well now now I might as well might as well buy me them binoculars just in case that comes in handy down the line. And next time guys, I really I'm not entirely certain where I'm planning on going next. I feel like I've been doing a lot of just picking up random storylines and doing random things. I haven't really been following the main quest or the main storyline for a while. I hope you guys don't mind. That's the way I like playing things. I like trying to explore as much of this as possible. Get a full scope of the game, you know. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you again soon.